Okay, let's pick it up at verse 12. 12 through 21. It says, I, wisdom, dwell together with prudence. I possess knowledge and discretion. To fear the Lord is to hate evil. I hate pride and arrogance, evil behavior and perverse speech. Counsel and sound judgment are mine. I have insight. I have power. By me, kings reign and rulers issue decrees that are just. By me, princes govern and nobles all who rule on earth. I love those who love me and those who seek me find me. With me are riches and honor, enduring wealth and prosperity. My fruit is better than fine gold. What I yield surpasses choice silver. I walk in the way of righteousness along the paths of justice, bestowing a rich inheritance on those who love me and making their treasuries full. So now here, wisdom shares some of her benefits. Wisdom knows how to strategize uh, in, a, in, a, in a right and good meaning of that word. Okay, that's the idea of she dwells with prudence. She dwells with prudence. Wisdom means being smart, being discerning, and being wily. What does being wily mean? On top of things, being discerning, being able to, to see the way to make it to where you need to be and how you want to get there and where you need to get to. Um, Wisdom here says she is not, it's not being naive or apathetic, but it is being forward thinking and planning and strategizing how to live the God life. Okay? Um, it's kind of this, in some Christians, there's kind of, kind of this idea that the godly thing is to just kind of throw yourself back and, God, whatever you want to do. I'll just, you know, you can just, if you want to drag me over there, drag me over there. If you want to drag me over there, drag me over there, whatever you want to do. But, but wisdom is discerning to know God's will. And so God wants me to be there. How do I get there? God wants me to go that direction. Okay, how do I go that direction? It's, it's, not, uh, it's not an apathy but it's being forward-thinking and planning and strategizing how to live the God life. 